Hey guys, what is up? This is your pal Moxie1701 with another portable game console review. This little guy here is the At Games Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Gaming Device. Now, I would show you the box, but unfortunately, it's somewhere in all this, so I can't really find it right now. <laughs> but I know I have it, and I will post it as soon as I find it. Anyway, this little device is really cool. It's got your a nice little pad here, nice and clicky. It's got six buttons over here. Over here is your low battery indicator. Comes on the battery's low. <laughs> no kidding. Over here you have your power switch, headphone jack, and hold on a second. Okay. Over here you have another jack, which is a lot like the headphone jack, but if you look at it, it's audio video. Don't confuse the two. <laughs> over here you have a power indicator and charge indicator. It's green when the power is on and red when the power is charging. And the red turns green when the power is charged. <laughs> and it charges to this mini USB slot here. And yes, you can add your own games over here with this mic with this SD card slot, which is very nice. And over here you have your volume control. You have your A B X Y Z. You have your start button over here. You have this menu button, which uh, no kidding, brings you back to the menu. <laughs> Little pad, tiny little speaker, tiny sounding, but it does the job. And on the back over here, this is a cover for a little battery. And the battery inside looks a lot like a cell phone battery. It probably is. And you could probably still get one. I got this, oh, five, six years ago. <laughs> yeah, it took a while to get the video out. <laughs> and I'm just now getting around to reviewing it. So let's turn on the power. The at games logo and there's the game list now it says here hold on a second that there's supposed to be like 90 games here but if you look at it only the first four pages have actual genesis games after this there are these independent weird homebrew games which no one ever cares saw before but that can be compensated for the fact that you can install your own games with the sd card Providing that they're in BIN format, not MDG or whatever. It has to be in BIN format. So let's see the game selection here. Uh, sorry about the camera. I'm trying to study it out as much as I can. One of these days i got to get around to fixing up my tripod. As you can see, each game has a little screenshot. The screen is very nice even from different angles. It's very, very nice. But, as with most at games consoles, the sound is off. Yeah. Here, I'll show you a little example. Uh, oh, they also have Fantasy Star in all the Mortal Kombat's, which is very, very cool. Two and three. It'd be nice to have four, but they didn't. <laughs> Here, I'll show you Vector Man. Now, if you're a retro gamer, you're familiar with Vector Man. Let's start off the game. Turn up the volume. And whoops, I think I just turned down the volume. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Now you notice the sound, it's a little bit off. It sounds slow. Let's start the game and see. There we go. I'm trying to start the game over here and I'm getting confused with the buttons. <laughs> there we go. Get my crap organized today. Let's see if this works. <laughs> oh god, I got fish my coffee this morning. There we go. If you're familiar with the game, you're going to hear that the soundtrack... It sounds slow. It sounds like a 45 RPM record being played at 33. 
that's pretty much the only problem I have with this. The sound is slow, but with a small speaker like that, most of the time the sound will be either muted or turned way down. And you hear the zap pow bang sounds anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You're not going to get this for the hi-fi <coughs> excuse me, hi -fi sound coming out of this tiny little speaker. All in all, for the price I paid, it was about 50 bucks. It's a great little unit. Really, really cool. Nice styling, nice coloring. The screen, as you can see, for a cheap little unit, it's very nicely done. It has some good weight to it. And I really, really like it. And if you're wondering maybe why you can't find these systems in the store widely available these days, well, devices like smartphones have pretty much made these devices obsolete. Because everything this device can do, my smartphone could probably do better with a bigger screen. Yeah. But if you look around, flea markets, Walmart, places like that, you could probably still find a small device like that. And it's really, really cool and totally worth it. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed my little look at this At Games Ultimate Sega Genesis Portable. And you have yourself a great day. Take care.